I had a little incident on the road during a bad storm. Find out how to protect yourself and your camper in bad weather next. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. I've been a full-time RVer almost five years. And whether you are pulling a camper or driving a motorhome, it can be dangerous on the road. That's a lot of weight that you have behind you. And these motorhomes and campers can be like driving a billboard. There's a lot of dangers driving with weather. Just three weeks ago, when I left the campground, the weather was fine. Where I was headed, the weather was fine. I found myself driving in snow. Yes, snow in June. It could have been bad. It could have gotten windy. It could have gotten icy. Fortunately, I did not have my motorhome with me at the time. But about a month ago, I was in Idaho with my motorhome. Again, the weather was fine at the campground that I was leaving, and it was fine at my destination campground, but on the way, a storm came in, and the wind was crazy. I had to pull over. What happened was the awning over my window actually unfurled in the high wind and I had to manually roll it back up. As I've learned, knowing what the weather is at my destination is not enough, particularly if I'm going through high elevation, canyons, whatever. I need to know what the weather is on the way, especially winds. Wind can be very dangerous. So I have discovered an app that I wanna share with you. It's called Weather on the Way. You put in your destination and it will show you the weather all along the route. The weather on the route is exactly at the time you'll be driving through. With this information, you can pick the best time to leave and avoid storms. You can actually see the wind speed, the rain. That is so important. What's so great about it is you can enter in your destination and see the weather up to seven days in advance. I highly recommend you do this at least three days in advance because if you need to change plans, you'll have time to do so. You can share the weather or email it. Weather on the way gives me so much peace of mind. I am never gonna travel without entering in my destination first. If I need to change my route or even change the day that I travel, I will. It really is so helpful. Weather on the way is only $24.99 for a whole year. Use my special link in the description to get the best prices and you'll get a free seven day trial. If bad weather is predicted, please don't hesitate to change plans. You always want to make safety number one. Now, when you're in a campground, you also want to be weather aware. It's important when you arrive to know where the storm shelter is. I actually sheltered in a storm shelter bathroom in Ohio during a tornado. It's no joke, you definitely wanna be aware of your surroundings and aware of what the risks are. Now, depending on what part of the country and what time of year, there's going to be, of course, different risks. So it may be a hurricane, tornado, mudslide, flooding. Where I am right now, I'm in a tsunami zone. Do you know that tsunamis are not weather dependent? They can happen at any time for any reason in any weather. So my situation, I scoped out how to get to higher ground. Should I need it, I would know where to go. If there is a lot of rain in the forecast, don't camp next to a stream. If there's been a lot of rain upstream recently, that's another reason because flash flooding is a real danger. Also, if it's rained recently or rain is predicted, you may not wanna park on the grass. You sure don't wanna get stuck in the mud. If severe weather is predicted, you may wanna avoid camping under trees. Those branches could fall on your camper. And this also goes for blizzards. If you do any snow camping, there could be an ice storm and those branches could also fall. When you set up camp, don't forget to set up your weather radio. Know the name of the county you're in. This is so important because they often do these weather watches and alerts by the county. Also familiarize yourself with where you are on a map because if you watch the local news, the weather is going to show you a map of the area and it's good to know where you are in relation to that. I use a weather app called AccuWeather and I make sure that it is on 
in the background at all times and that my government issued alerts are turned on. Stay in contact with the campground host or the ranger. They may have some more information to help you. If you're staying in a national park, they will typically post the daily or weekly weather forecast. Plot an escape route. Your campground may be safe during the bad weather, but the road in and out may be vulnerable. It's not recommended that you travel during a storm, particularly in your camper. The best thing you can do is hunker down. Before a storm, it's a good idea to fill your fresh water tank. This will help you with stability, but also if the power and water supply goes out, you'll have water. You also might want to charge batteries, empty your black and gray tank, fill your propane, and check the fuel level if you have a generator, and even fill up the fuel in your RV or your truck. Inspect the roof for anything loose or anything that might need to be tied down up there. Put away as much as you can from your patio, your patio chairs, patio mat, barbecue grill. You want to secure everything in case of high winds. If you can, reposition your camper so it faces the wind, so it's not getting the brunt of the wind on the side, but actually on one of the ends. If high winds come, be prepared to pull in your slides so that you'll be more stable and you also protect the slides from damage. Have emergency supplies on hand always, a first aid kit, flashlights, bottled water, non-perishable food. When a storm hits, it's essential to take necessary precautions while inside your RV. Stay updated. Continuously monitor the weather updates through a portable radio or through your smartphone. Stay inside and take cover. Once the storm intensifies, stay inside your camper and avoid unnecessary risks. Move to the center of the RV away from the windows. Take cover in a small enclosed space such as a bathroom or hallway. If available, use mattresses or cushions for additional protection against flying debris. Use appliances sparingly, minimize electricity usage, and unplug unnecessary appliances to reduce the risk of power surges or electrical hazards. Keep important documents such as your insurance policy, registration, and identification in a secure and waterproof container. Stay calm and communicate. Reassure others in your camper, especially if there are children or elderly. Communicate with your loved ones back home to inform them of your situation and location. Use your cell phone, if service is available, to provide updates. After the storm has passed, inspect your camper for any signs of damage, including leaks, broken windows, or structural issues. You may also want to pack a go bag so that if you have to leave your camper behind, you have your emergency stuff with you. We are all so vulnerable in our campers, so you want to stay aware so that you stay safe. If you found this video valuable, please like, subscribe, and share, and let me know of any tips that I may have missed. As always, these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing.